Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LSWAT and um, today we're going to be doing a very simple jQuery plugin called jQuery Tab Contents. Like as you can see here, this is the final product that I'm showcasing and it's going to be a very simple plugin and all it's going to do is enable you to show different contents hidden behind tabs. So as you can see, the first content is shown initially and as you click on the second tab, you're shown the second content the third and fourth and fifth likewise so that's what we're going to be doing for today guys so i hope you're very excited about it because i am so let's get started okay so here we are in um, brackets text editor and i'll just show you the files that i've created for this project just so we can get up and um, get going quickly so right now I have just a, a, an index.html with just some boilerplate HTML code in there and there's a CSS folder and a JS folder. I've downloaded the jQuery library and I've created a main.js file as well where we're going to be writing our custom jQuery and main.css where we're going to be styling the tab contents. Okay, So we'll start by writing the HTML before writing any CSS or JavaScript. So we just need first a page wrapper. So we'll create a div with a, a class of page wrap and the brackets text editor lets you write HTML very quickly so that's one nice feature of it and we'll have a one UL element there with a class of tabs which will hold our tab contents and inside that we're going to be have um, we're going to have five li tags each of which will hold one tab element so each of these will have a class of tab item and we're going to have five of them so brackets text editor lets you do that quickly as well so we'll just say tab one tab two tab three tab four tab five okay and the next after that we're going to this is this ul tag here element here is going to hold our tabs and after that we're going to create and another div which will hold the contents for each type element so we're going to have the div of class type contents and inside that we're going to have five other divs which will each represent each of these li tags and if you notice as i'm hovering over these elements here um they're being highlighted in the browser here and that's a feature of um this brackets text editor if you just click here it will open up a uh, something it will open up a tab in your default browser that will let you do some live reload features so anything that we're typing here automatically appears on the left hand side here okay all right so now let's continue writing our html so we're going to write five div elements here each with a class of tab content times five and let's just say content one content two content 3, content 4, and finally content 5, each of which correspond to each tab item here. And one thing I want to remind you as well, let's just add a class of active to the first tab element because when we load the page by default, we want that to be the active one, okay? All right, so let's save that. Now let's go in our main.css file and actually start styling our elements. And First of all, like, let's give the, let's put all of this inside one extra div, which I actually forgot to do. So we have a page wrap, and then inside the page wrap, we're going to have a container for our tab um, widget. So let's just create another div with a class of tab widget container. And let's just take all of these things corresponding to the tab elements and the um, contents and just push them inside this tab widget container so now let's start styling stuff what we want is to designate um, the tab widget container a specified width and then center it in the middle of the page so we're going to give it a, a min width of let's say 200 pixels okay and then now let's take our page wrap and 
give text align center so that this elements come in the middle of the page now let's take our tab widget container and give it a display of inline block that's so that it doesn't take up the width of its of all of its container okay so now let's give it a background color of light gray and then give it a padding of 20 pixels so the contents don't go to the edge of the border and one thing as well let's give it a margin of 50 pixels top and bottom and auto okay all right so now let's take the ul element and remove the margin so that it's it's directly attached to its contents here now let's take each of tab item and then float them surely we're not going to float them we're just going to give them a display of inline block because the floating might have issues that we don't want to deal with in this tutorial sorry padding I forgot this here semicolon so padding of um, five pixels will do for the tab item here and let's give it a board each tab item a border of one pixel solid white so that we can differentiate we can be able to know um, what each tab item starts and ends okay uh, what else do we want to do we want that when we hover over each tab item we're going to give it a cursor of um, pointer so it looks like it's link it's a link so now if I hover over these now as you can see okay and let's give them a um, width min width of let's say 50 pixel each of them yeah that sounds good so now let's take a tab item which is active and give it a border of red now tab items by default have a border of white but the active one will have a border of red a border one pixels solid red that's the first one okay so now anytime that we switch tabs the current active one will have a border of red now let's hide the other tab contents so actually let's style the tab contents and then give them a width of 100% and then a border of 1 pixel solid white height of 100 pixel just remember this styling that we're doing is flexible like it is just the functionality that would be the same across the tab anyway but you can change this to look however you want it it's just so that it looks nice in this tutorial but it's not a hard and fast rule that is how it has to look like okay so now let's now that we've styled each tab content they're on top of each other let's hide the second third fourth and fifth one and just show the first one by default and how you do that is we use a pseudo element which is um, end child so now we want to select the tab contents which start from 2 and above and how we do that is we say n plus 2 and we say display none now if I had selected 1 here it will just display the first one if I select 2 display second one if I select third one display that it will um, display none the third one but we want it to um, hide the second to the last one so n plus 2 okay so now that's it we have finished writing the CSS now let's go in our JavaScript file and actually start writing the functionality for this widget and as usual we're going to have to write a document dot ready so that the function only loads when the page is ready okay and the first thing is we're going to add an event handler to each of these tab items at the top here so we say when it's clicked that is its selector is tab item so we say tab item dot on on click 
run this function when each tab item has been clicked. And we want to select the currently clicked tab item. So we say tab item equals to dollar sign this. And then after that, we want to select the index. So how this is going to work is since we had five um, contents here, um, I'll just go back in our CSS and I'll disable that. Since we have five contents here, so anytime we click on second one, what we're going to do in our JavaScript is we're going to go in this list and say, what is the index of whatever has been clicked? If it's the second one, we're going to just take the second one, show it, and then hide the rest. If it's the fifth one that's been clicked, we're going to come in this list here, select the fifth one, show that, and then hide the rest. Okay? All right, so let me just reverse this here and close two. So let's go back in our JavaScript file and continue writing. So the index of the clicked one equals to tab in item dot index. There's a nice little function in JavaScript jQuery called index that gives you the index of the currently clicked item. So content to show that is which um, tab content do we want to show is dollar sign. We select all the tab contents. And splice this is a function that just takes um, uh, an array of elements and just gives you back whatever um, you, you you specify so right now if we have an array of five items and we say give me the, um, the, it the item at the index of two and give me one item after that index so it will go to zero one two and then it starts counting there so if you say give me one item it starts counting from two and then it only gives you two if you say give me two items it starts counting from index of two and gives you two and three so it starts counting at an index and gives you how many elements you specified in the second argument here okay but we only want um one element starting from the index that we specified so instead of two hard coded here we're going to pass in index that we have got from this first um array here sorry variable here okay so that's all we need we've got the tab item we've got the index and we've got the content to show so we selected which content is to be shown here okay so now let's go to tab item and whichever tab item has been clicked we're going to add a class of active there just to show that that's the active one so let's say active and then we're going to get its siblings and remove the class from its siblings because we don't want the siblings to also have the border of red. Okay. All right. So next, what we want to do is we want to take the content to show and then show it and then hide its siblings also. So content to show dot siblings. Uh, there is one mistake which I will talk about in a second with this hide so now we're just taking the content to show take we're selecting its siblings then hiding those siblings and then we going back the chain again what end does it is right now this selector here selects the siblings of the contents to show but if we want to get back to content to show we have to call end say go back one chain one element of the chain to give us back this content to show okay so dot end dot show now this would not work because this content to show here even though you think it's a jQuery element it is not is actually a DOM element and the reason for that is because we use this splice function here so this returns us one DOM element so in order to make this a jQuery um, element so it has these functions like sibling and hide we have to wrap it around the dollar sign again so we do this dollar sign and then wrap it around us so it has this function so this should work now guys um, so let's try out our our widget so now if I click on tab 2 it should show us the second tab tab 3 should show us third tab 4 shows fourth and tab 5 show us the fifth okay so that's it guys um, I hope this was very helpful and if you have any questions please do let us know in the comments below or on my website at lswebapp.com forward slash forums and um, I hope this was really helpful and if you liked it please rate and subscribe using the links below and above and um, I thank you for watching I hope to see you soon on YouTube bye bye